I'm Dylan with Rooftop Chimney Sweeps. When it rains a lot like it has here recently, people often call in a roofer to fix the leak, only to find out that the chimney is the real problem. So today, we're giving you the six ways that water can leak through your chimney. The first one is the cap. This is here to keep rainwater from going straight down your flue into your house. Number two is the crown. This is a concrete slab that diverts water off the top of the chimney. So if the crown is cracked or missing, you're gonna have water start leaking into your house. Number three is the mortar joints between the bricks on the chimney. Mortar is softer than brick and it's water permeable. So if it starts to erode and crack, water can get in through those cracks and leak inside. Number four is the bricks on the chimney. Now bricks absorb water, so if the chimney's in a shady spot and doesn't get a lot of sunlight to dry it out, over time it can absorb enough water that it starts coming in through your walls. Number five is the flashing. Flashing is a barrier that goes between the chimney and the roof shingling. So if the flashing is damaged, the water's gonna come between the chimney and the roof and leak in that way. And finally, number six is the chimney liner. Now, if you have a chimney with a gas appliance in it, and that could be a water heater, a furnace, a boiler, or a gas log set, that gas appliance is outputting a lot of water vapor. And if that flue isn't venting properly, that water vapor is gonna condense inside. So a lot of times, when we get called out to inspect chimneys, we find the water leak is actually coming from inside the chimney from your house, not from the rainwater on the outside. Preventing expensive leaks is an important reason why you want to have your chimney checked regularly, whether you have a fireplace or it's being used or not. No chance of leaks in this chimney.